What's up, guys? Your friend Interstake here. I'm back playing some more Hearthstone. Uncut uh, Chunguses. Let's do this, boys. Big Chunga time. Ranked play. Right there, rank 10. <sighs> yep, we are. We're going the distance on this one. I've been playing Hearthstone right now for two hours straight. And I plan on clocking in a lot more time. A lot more fucking time. I also have to upload all these videos too, so that'd be a fun little project. <sighs> Why do I always have to pee at the start of these videos? It's like my bladder instant. Ooh, I can't pass up a start. I'm gonna let the game like run out. I'm gonna go pee. So you guys would be like, but dinner day, why, why are you picking all this stuff? I'll explain to something you hear kids really quickly here. Long story short, pulling Deathstalker or Rexar in your like opening hand, super advantageous. One, don't need to use any of your trackings for the rest of this game. Unlike this chump right here, he has to use his trackings. We don't know what he's going to pull out of there. You don't know if he just lost Deathstalker or Rexar. We don't know if he lost a rogue deer. We don't... <sighs> We we don't know. Candle shot would have been nice. Uh, that would have been probably the perfect curve here. But if I get Kel South next turn, I'm not gonna complain. If I do get Kel, don't get Kel South next turn, coining egg. Actually, no. No, we don't need to do that because we have um, we have this. So basically, we're just gonna shoot each other in the dicks for the next. And Devil Sword is not exactly what I like to see being pulled, but hey, that's okay. So he is going to play Secret Plan. On turn three, so he can play the Secret. Is he though? This could be Snipe and this could be really bad. But we're just going to have to test the waters. It's not snipe. It could be rat trap. It could be rat trap. Do I take the risk? Who plays rat trap in this meta? It's not rat trap. Whew. Some of you guys may be like, what's Rat Trap? Well, you know, if your opponent plays three cards in a turn, summon a 6-6 six, six rat. Giant rat. That on turn four with no answers to it? That's disgusting. Rat Trap is by far one of my favorite secrets in this entire game. Uh, back when Odd Paladin and Combo Decks were huge in this meta, um, especially against Odd Rogue, uh, Rat Trap was really a staple in any Hunter deck. That you ran before Death Rattle Hunter was rediscovered. Um, so this is obviously Secret Hunter. Not a fan of it. But nonetheless, we, uh, we must persist. I'm interested in what to um, do here. We could flanking strike our own egg. But I don't feel like that's a good play. But I... I'm gonna do it because I have no fucking clue what those secrets are. That could be ex uh, freezing trap. That could be explosive trap. That could be the cobra. Could, there's a lot of stuff. This could be even misdirection. Wandering monster, most likely. There's a third one. Let's say get ready for the spellstone next turn. So I do have Deathstalker Rexar waiting at the gate to cancel out 
hopefully canceling out any wolves. Uh, it's probably not going to, well, it's not going to work because I don't have a trap. He's, so I, I, annoying play. And I know why he did it. Ah, uh, this is fucking chump. Really putting me in an awkward position here. I feel like when I'm flanking strike my own devil sore egg. Use this one to bait all the traps out. Yep, wandering monster. Freezing trap. Not a surprise. And then... Vicious Cobra. Couple misplays there. I'm gonna leave it at that though. He has to make that trade now. Force them into awkward positions and they will res. Hey, you could have a uh, arcane shot. Or baited arrow. Not too worried about that. That was a huge waste on that turn. It's just turn five gone. But if he didn't play the spell stone on turn five, I have to make the assumption that he doesn't have the spell stone in his hand. So, yeah, he's going to go there, and I'm basically going to make him regret playing that card. Not only that, but now we have Keliseth in our mitts here. Get that out of there. Pull this hero power. And basically start pushing on here. This deck actually doesn't have anything on turn 7. So, Devil Sword is going to slam down if I don't get anything too interesting out of the... Uh, out of there do not i don't want to track i don't want to track here so there are the wolves no surprise to that mc tech so we could do a bunch of damage to a bunch of these well, let's 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 hear this out here so mc tech i take one of these there's 12 damage on the board Okay. No, there's only nine damage on the board. Trade in. There's six. I have five, and he has six. Deathstalker Rexar. Ping pong. It's still the same amount of damage. I don't have a bigger board though. I'm gonna. Play. I'm playing, I'm going to play MC Tech. Because that puts, that puts more damage on my side of the board. I, I could have done the Deathstalker Rexar play, but I decided to go with MC Tech because not only did it take a card from his side, but it also developed my board a little bit there too. It's really strange because my old Hunter deck that I played, you know, on turn eight, you do the explosive trap into Rexar, and it basically shuts down any spell stones and that kind of stuff. So it's really awkward not having secrets at your disposal in Hunter. But at the same time, if you devote secrets into Hunter, you lose out on the Keliseth. And that really becomes the ish question, like, are the Hunter secrets overpowered enough on their own to win you the game? So I have a feeling he's going to start running this down here. He already used one of his uh, kill commands. He already used... Did he already use one of his kill commands? Well, now he's he's playing more secrets. Something I didn't really want to see. That's Soccer Rexar now. I swear I will put I will put Flare in my deck. Okay, don't worry. Bear Shark. Lifesteal Rush. Ooh. 
Not a good one. Not a good one. I mean, I can still dance with this guy for quite a bit still. Trying to think about what he has still left. He hasn't played any minions, so this is definitely Spell Hunter. So he has Deathstalker, Rexar, and Rokadir still in his deck somewhere. The problem is, is he could have. I don't know what he took out of all of that. So Candle Shot, we're doing Arcane Shot here. Flanking Strike into the mix. So he's trying to beat me back into the wall here. I'm on Hearthstone. There we go. I'm going to go for the Zombeast build here. That's not... No, I have to take Shimmering that. And a Charge Minion, I will actually take... We're getting to like the. I'm gonna regret playing this, but I will track right now. I'm gonna snag Catherine from that because I really need her. We're gonna end my turn here. Um, none of my Witchwood Grizzlies have come out, so either I'm getting King Crush or a three. Uh, no, a. So there's Rokadir. That changes things slightly this turn. Um, I don't know what that secret is, so I will check it with the Zombeast. But. I will be I will be Catherining next turn and hero powering. And we're gonna call it you know, gotta put some pressure on this guy here. His whole hand's full here, so he's gonna play another fucking secret. Oh. He's gonna play another secret. Oh, what are you gonna do here, buddy? Huh? You're gonna play it? You're gonna play that secret? A secret check with the bear shark. Unless he's gonna attack it, which. I, I wouldn't agree to that play in my entire life. So, because he did that. So it's a trap, not a surprise. That is that rat trap? That has to be rat trap at this point. It has to be rat trap because this didn't trigger it. Misdirection didn't pop off. It actually, it could be the cobra pit one that summons just three snakes, which is an epic for some reason. Because I think that one only triggers if a minion attacks you. So he's gonna good play there. So what I want him to do is waste a bunch of his spell. There we go. Thank you. Yes. You think you're making tier 1 plays right now, but... Oh, I haven't played a spell hunter in ages. I'm not going to say I missed the deck at all, because I kind of don't. Because it gets so repetitive at some points here. I will play Ooze here. I will play Spider Bomb. Come on, buddy. Come on. It was Rat Trap. Fuck. Misplayed. I'm not too worried about it. Should have not played that. Should have played around Rat Trap. Talked about Rat Trap the entire game, and what do I do? I, I, uh, I int. I, I, I get exposed to Rat Trap. So now he's 11 damage on board. Dire Frenzy, another f uh, kill command. Bunch of other shit could definitely win him the game here. So poor planning on my part here. Definitely, I need to play Catherine next turn. 
Ugh, face. So you have two kill commands in there? Uh oh. <laughs> kill command number one. And. Nothing else. Okay. So I need to win this turn. Well, Zillax just popped up here, so. Guess we go all or nothing, huh? And it gave me the Witchwood Grizzly. I regret everything. Fuck. Should have played Zillax just to be fucking safe. Not, uh, not having a good time. Not having a good time. Uh, like I said, my collection. Here we go. Goodbye. And hello, tier one deck. Defender of Argus has saved me on a couple times too. How much Shaw Zillax? Yeah, some people run Ordinate stuff, and I almost just want to see how that works here, because that might be a little, uh, might be a little zesty, so I'm gonna swap out, uh, I just, I'm gonna write, I write stuff down. Let's swap the Defender of Argus out for, and we're just gonna see how this deck works now. Cause I have no clue. All right, everything's downloaded there. We'll get that out of the way. All right. Uh, where are the uh? A worthy opponent. Oh! My first druid since the nerfs. I actually haven't seen any druids since December of 19th in any of my videos. So this is definitely a new uh, look. Catherine. Oh, this is like... I'm gonna... I'm gonna put Catherine back in my deck. Can I get like... Spider Bomb. Okay, so I get the majority of my three cost cards here. I'm keeping Gluttonous Ooze. Uh, just on the off chance that Togawag Druid or something like that. If they pop Twig of the World Tree. You know, we'll just, we'll just see. We'll see what we're going to get our hands into here. Egg is looking like a nice play next turn here. You know, it's interesting to see, um, you know, how the Druid community is dealing with all of this. Devil Sore Egg going out. Followed up with a Terror Scale Stalker next turn. If I could get Candle Shot on that, maximize my mana on turn four. That'd be swell. He's going to raff it. Annoying. Oh, because he has, um. Cause he probably has swipe in his back pocket or something like that. I'm going to punish him for doing that. Um. 
What does he mean by punish? You know, if people uh, go greedy and don't trade in, I'm going to be a little aggressive back at them. Uh, because really, your whole play style changes. See, not too surprised by that. I bet he has like Innervate or something really lame. He's going to naturalize what? Naturalize that guy here. So I have nine cards in my hand. Uh, this kind of sucks because I have now all my Death Rattle cards in my hand. So they become... Uh, Useless. Should probably put Spider Bomb down on the board if I'm gonna do anything. Yeah, so that kind of sucks. Oaken summons. Good thing I have a hunter's uh, hunter's mark waiting for that play. Actually, I don't even need to waste the Hunter's Mark. I can, uh, I'll just play dead on it. There's Onesta. Glad you could show up to the party. Um, I'll actually play Terra Skill Stalker on it. Hero Power. Go in. And that's game. This is the gonk. He's trying to gonk me. Trying to gank me? You gonna gank me in Hearthstone? Hmm? Oh boy, here comes 12 armor. Such a bullshit card. I mean, eh, it is. I'm just gonna try to get rid of that. Credits to him. I'm gonna coin out uh, Catherine. Yep. And my turn there. You can pop Catherine next turn for uh, another play dead. Oh yeah, my other play dead went to my. Uh, yep, there you go. Can't win them all. Well played. Happy, happy feast of Wintervale. And there we go. We got another star rank, rank fifteen. Enough gold. That's enough gold for a card pack. Here we go. Let's let's buy a fucking pack. What do we want? Rack of stand rumble. Let's buy a fucking pack. Okay. Okay, pack. Two rares. Nothing. Uh, nothing too bad. I have all this dust, and I don't really know what to do with it, because there's nothing that's really catching my attention, uh, this meta. Like, so if we go to... Oh, that's not how you spell it. So if we look at, we can, we can, let's start with what's going to stay in meta. Alright, so we have the Witchwood, right? Crafting. No, not really. Eh, no sort of possibly no no eh Hagatha but I don't play much shaman or Godfrey probably a top contender I have all the classic ones for that one so let's go to Boomsday Boomsday let's go to this have both of those uh no eh no I have both of those none of those no Maybe. Maybe. Definitely if Dragon Warrior becomes a thing. This for memes, but eh. Nothing too dank there. And then in Rumble, you have no, possibly. This just seems fun. I almost just want to put craft this just so I can do Odd Mage. Because I think Odd Mage is really a fun class. But I've also shit on a lot of Odd Mages too. So, no. Possibly. Nada. No. Yes. With Evolve Shaman. Uh, yeah, for Dragon. And then, no. And then let's go to, let's go to Standard. Alright, let's go to, uh, let's go to your Classics. Because I'm missing a bit of those here. I guess I have that one, have that one, have that one. Don't have, don't, I don't have Tyrion. 
interesting. Have him, have him. Don't have Akali. Don't have Jaraxxus. Don't have Gromash. Probably at some point because he belongs in almost any deck. Harrison Jones is probably a good argument there too. Um, Black Knight? Definitely. Uh, but yes, Sarah. But like, I'm kind of torn because I don't know what to exactly craft in this meta. So we're just going to keep saving dust until, you know, something completely broken and overpowered pops up and then I'll ride that to tier one. Probably just ride that out to tier one like any normal person would. Speaking of tier one, let's get back on that grind. Even Paladin. Kind of want to just keep this as my um. Open ah, that's go away. I don't need you to turn eight. None will survive. Odd Paladin. Really, we're uh, we're still trying to make this thing uh, trying to make this a dream. I guess people are trying to. <sighs> Stored energy. Yikes. Uh. Reporting, for duty. Reporting for booty. Save the glutton issues. We're going to play him early. Really, it's about mitigating damage. Because Odd Paladin, you can still lose to him if you don't deal with the board. Because it'll still chip away at your health pretty, pretty quickly. Um, annoying. Pull Zillax out of my ass next turn. Take care of the rest of these paladin, uh, Silverhand recruits. Wish you could boop the snowman's noise. Nose. Raid leader. Good one. Good meme. But you wiped out almost half your board just to secure his spot. Go right into there. Be a little aggressive. Don't be afraid to push your weight around. Tell the tell the on paladin no. And slap him. Spray him with some water and be like no. This is not your meta. This is not your play stuff. This is not your format. Go to wild. You have epics. You have the taskmasters. Go back to wild. And then there. Oh, fantastic. I have all the fucking combo cards in my hand. I can't wait till... Just... This is the definition of just. Wow! <sighs> See, he's still chipping away at my health here. It's annoying, and it's really not gonna get any better for a while. So the worst thing he could play next turn is Stormwind Champion, and by worst, I mean best for him, worst for me. Uh, instead, he's going to go Silverhand Recruit, and then Frostwolf, word, word. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of damage on board. Not fun. So my hope is I can play in Onesta and then I can snag one of these fuckers and we can go from there. Onesta, or 
Undasta. Yeah, hmm, indeed. So you gotta go there. Actually, you gotta trade in there. Four. Oh, man. I tried. Four, eight, ten. Oh, he's short. No. Yeah, that did not hit the mark, buddy. Yikers. Missed play on his part. He could have won this game pretty much fair and square. He's going to try brute forcing through the rest of those cards. But let's win. Why is he saying well played to me? I still got some tricks up my sleeve. Why is he saying well played? Hey! <coughs> oh. That's why. Reporting for booty. Okay, Death Stack or Rex are next turn actually. No, I don't. Death Stack or Rex doesn't save me out of this cluster fuck. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, but he plays a raid leader next turn. We call it GG at that point. <sighs> Or that. That still doesn't guarantee him lethal. Uh oh. Is that enough now? Three, five, nine, ten. Oh, he's one off. I think he's one off. I think he's one off from lethal. Yikes. Yeah, I think he just realized he's one off from lethal. The Stucker Rexar would see me right here. That's not that Stucker Rexar. Yeah, I just gotta be bad, Paladin. Happy feet. Winter well played. Well, that's a um, bit of a shame right there. Kind of back and forth on this whole rank ladder thing. I do not like Onesta in that deck. I feel like it doesn't do too much to really... I don't know, I haven't really gotten the time to feel it out. You know, let's let's watch let's watch a friend play some Hearthstone. Why not? You know, let's let's show him a little let's let's see what we got here. We don't always gotta we always don't gotta Playing some rogue. I hate rogue. Why do you hate rogue dinner, Eddie? Well, it has to go with some of the core mechanics. I think Rogue is, um, hey, we saw that play earlier, or last game. Um, I just feel like Rogue has too much damage that it can cheese out for free. Um, it has, the majority of Rogue, so Rogue has a lot of zero cost spells, and some of them are just damn right broken 
Okay, zero mana, deal two damage, or sinister strike. We we've seen the OTK, we've seen the miracle Dru miracle rogues. We've we know what rogue is capable of, and in the realm of fair play and bullshit, rogue is leaning more on the bullshit side of it. Vine Slayer, the SI agents, this kind of shit that's just board removal, annoying, and broken. I might be, I might have an unpopular opinion here. I don't find, my friends don't like playing uh, Warlock, I don't like playing Rogue. Uh, ooh, Rogue's a higher, hmm. Kari Windlord. That was, why would she plank that play? I would much rather go in for we interesting play. I would have gone with the deadly poison into Vine's Blades. Interesting, because she's going to take quite a bit of damage to the face. But I just don't... Um, I think Rogue doesn't have an identity. Um, we have Espionage Rogue and stuff that you can allow to steal cards from other classes, which is a fun deck. I like, if you play Espionage Rogue, good for you. You get, you get a, you get a dinner fried dinner steak, thumb up of approval, okay? That's what you get, because Miracle Rogue is fun, it's RNG, and it's doesn't, it's not bullshit. Why would the fuck would you play Arcana Sword? This must be what the rank 18 community must be like. Boys and daggers. I'd say play Pyros this turn. Get uh, and probably play the fledgling. Think about that. Fledgling is another card in uh, that if this shaman's gonna do anything, trade into the fledgling and really cripple that. Cause if you let that fledgling get out of control, it's pretty nasty. Ooh. Okay, Lightning Bolt. Hmm. She's looking at playing that Akali Windlord. If you're wondering, how do you know if this is a girl? I went to the Fireside Brawl back in is December 4th. It was a week. Rack of Sand Rumble came out on the 7th, right? Yeah, it came out on the 7th. So... Oh, he's cheesing out damage here. That's a well played. Told you, he should have not traded in on the 7-7 uh, seven, seven Electrical Storm Surge. Unless you can somehow save the day here. It's not looking doable right now. And you're dead. You're dead either way. It's been an honor, Mrs. Obama. All right, let's jump back right into it. I took a little break there. Getting some frame drops. Let's keep up with that rank play, boys. Oh. How's everyone doing? I'm having fun. I'm living the fucking time of my life. I'm playing Hearthstone for hours and hours on end. Rastakhan, huh? Rastakhan. Of course, Flare pops up and Shaman doesn't really... Uh, Shaman doesn't really have any secrets. I feel like I'm going to dump all that and just really keep it like this. Oh, thanks, Death Stalker Rexar. I'm glad you showed up this time. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, this was over before it even began. Even Shaman. Let's talk about the fucking abortion that is this deck. Which which is worse, Zulok or Even Shaman? Hmm? 
what's worse because really i have no fucking clue i feel like zoo zulak is worse because the odds of you losing are way greater than even shaman but this shit is just stupid I'm playing Flare. Fucking Hunter's Mark. Glad you could show up to the party. This is just stupid. Then you play that. It's game over. Unless. Unless RNG bless me. Come on. Oh, I got the worst one. <sighs> Not at all what I wanted there. Yeah, I just got trade him there. I could coin out Rexar. I'm um, excuse me. Fuck this deck. Six cards. That's what we're gonna do. We'll make that statement. I wanna set this up for the uh, Deathstalker Rexar. So come on, buddy, bring on the whiteboard. <sighs> Knife Juggler, how cute. What are you gonna play now, huh? You're gonna do uh, Serenite Gay Gang? Bink. Bonk. Boom. Boom. No way, this is saving me. Yeah. <sighs> nice one. Dead by turn... Fucking 13. Disgusting. That's it. I'm looking for even shaman. Give me some of that even shaman. Give me the fucking even shaman that I desire here. I guess I want some. Actually, I don't think I've actually had... Um... You guys get a small look at my desktop here. I don't think I've actually had the innkeeper uh, open in a while. Uh, so yeah, we'll get that updated here. All right, Windlord, Haggit to the Witch, Corpse Seekers. That's gonna be Lich King. You need, you need a Lich King in this. Agatha, Corpse Taker. Seriously, is this? Yeah, Lich Gen Sea Giant Urgent Commander, Agatha. Agatha the Witch almost seems, uh... Interesting. That's a huge... That's a really expensive deck, because I don't have a Lich King. I don't have, uh... Couple cards I actually don't have here. Yep. Collections up to date. Thank you. Oh, another eighth thread, huh? This why Rankasy and Rumble is unsuccessful. <laughs> yep. Let's re let's read what this boy's got to say. I have said that I am out. I am out till next expansion due to King's Bane and I'm back since it's gone. So another pissy boy hearthstone player right there i had said that i'm out till next expansion due to king's bane and have been back since it's gone all right so already we know that this guy's a complete dipshit because one he gets pissed off at king's bane and two he actually walks away from this game 
doesn't complete quests, and is a little piss boy because of Kingsbane. So here we go. So there's that. So when I had written that this is the least effective expansion ever, I was almost stoned to death by those who kept writing the same thing over and over again. This is the first week. Wait two or three weeks. You see next new decks emerging, let alone new decks. There's nothing but hunters. Who would have guessed that I even miss Shudder, Walk, Shaman? Well, of course there's hunters. Hunters have had a huge power creep in the last, you know. Actually, hunters haven't gotten any new tech shit. Well, Hellmaster Shaw... Okay, well, here, we can even, we can even go look into the collection here. This is Recruit Hunter, this is meta, okay? Cobalt, Cobalt, Standard, Cobalt, uh, Boomsday, Witchwood, Boomsday, Hunter, and these, these aren't even Hunter cards. So if we remove Zillax and we'll spider bomb. So you can argue that Boom's Day was a huge support, but the majority of this card is Cobalt's Classic and Um Frozen Throne. Hey, you got King Crush. Nice one. So you have that stuff. So no wonder Hunter's broken because before Frozen Throne, Hunter had Face Hunter. That was it. That was the only deck that they had. Hunter wasn't even a tier one deck when Hearthstone started out. And just recently, in the last year, it's really splurged in popularity. I don't think I've talked to you guys about this one. But in Hearthstone or most card games, um, if you print enough shitty cards, um, it's much like mixing jigsaw puzzles together. If you haven't done this, it's really cool. If you have a bunch of jigsaw puzzles that you're missing pieces for, just jumble them all together. Because eventually, using different pieces from different puzzles, you'll make something work. It might not work fantastically, but it's still a picture. You print enough shitty hunter cards, and eventually things are going to click in such a way that it's going to work. It just so happens that it works fucking beautifully with Carnivor Carnivorous Cube and some Death Rattle cards. You have a problem with that? Don't play Hearthstone. This guy's done it. Fair enough. So when someone claims that something might appear premature... In the first sight, wait to reply to improve what is stated instead of proposing counter arguments to try to get up votes by your reply. So where are you now? Autistic. Here, the main question to ask is why this expansion is bad. Very simple. What makes an expansion good? I tell you what. For instance, when Mean Streets of Gadget Stands was released, new archetypes emerged. People try to play decks that can only use one copy of each card. The discovery mechanic is by far the most successful mechanic since they're released, and is good for both reasons. First, it is different in each game. Blah 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 blah. RNG. Okay, so he's talking about discover. The People created J decks, although J data was broken till Geist. It was something novel. Introducing even non decks are also successful since we saw some of the cards that would have never included in the decks normally. Rush is another good mechanic that was introduced since the immediate effect of the card is usually what we want, which is the current problem with overkill, unless it is a rush minion. And also doesn't have an additive effect just effect for just going face decks. When it comes to Rackus and Rumble, I was hopeful at first glance. Spirit cards those which sound like exciting but turn out to be disappointing. Ah, I see. Let's bring up the next argument that a lot of people have about why Hearthstone shit. So a lot of people say it's pay to play. I won't lie. It is. It, it kinda is. You you can treat Hearthstone as a not free to play game, and you can win thirty games a game, thirty games a day, and get your card packs. Do your quests, okay? Like save up and make two good decks. Okay, I put money in this game, and I only play Death Rattle Hunter and, like, Elemental Shaman and, like, a few decks. You only need three decks. Unless you're going Terminant, you only need four decks if you're doing tournament gameplay. You need only three decks to really win this game. And some of these decks, you know, put them all together. It's probably, like, 20k dust. It's not that hard if you do your daily quests and stuff like that to get 20k dust. I'm a free-to-play player. Also, if you can't fork over, like, if you're only buying the pre-orders, which I'd strongly recommend, um, let's just call it $175 a, a year. I mean, unless you're a little shit, like a little six-year-old or something like that, I can see why. But if you have a job on your own, $170, $75 is, like, a paycheck for me. Yeah, you could, I'll even call it 200 bucks. So that's, like, two paychecks over the course of a year. Just save up for it. Okay. Like, yeah, that's kind of shitty coming from a free-to-play aspect of it. But if you want to have fun with Hearthstone, you sometimes need the cards. Or grind. You know, that's what I'm doing today, grinding out. So, 
I'm free to play and usually I do have only one deck type, okay, that I can play after I manage to earn throughout arena wards. So there's your first problem. Uh, if you're a free to play player, don't waste your gold on arena. Um, you need to win four arena runs before you make a net profit. And unless you play arena like ridiculously, I should probably make a video on this someday, like why arena runs suck because you need to win four games and depending on how bad you know your card picks are um you're kind of fucked never don't play arena if you're free to play get that guaranteed 100 gold you know get your card packs re-roll your 50 gold quests because you can't get anything lower than 50 gold arena wards okay since i wanted to try pirate rogue which is no way being close to being a brainless aggro deck like turn five pirate warrior area there's just some synergies cards that are worth giving a shot but the results are absolutely terrible not only because you can usually have a few pirates on board thanks to having class AOEs that makes cannon barrage awful, but you almost have no way to come back once you lose board and can't pressure your opponent fast enough, which makes Otter Rogue inevitably superior. Well, that's why it is a superior deck, because you can push pressure with Otter Rogue. Because you play a uh, Vicious Fledgling on turn 3 and you have no counters to it. You play the Henchman Clog on turn 4 and it turns into a 4 mana 4, 3 mana 4 4 on that same turn and when you, if you can attack. Deck types work because they do. And if everyone's really pissy, just wait a couple months. Wow, that's such a long, that's such a long time. In the scope of Hearthstone, they're gonna do more nerfs. I don't think that a lot of people realize this. These, this first patch rounds of nerfs, are, are nerfs for a reason. Uh, they always do nerfs before the Hall of Fame stuff. Always before the next year rotation. I feel like they're gonna do a nerf or a hot fix either in January or February. I feel like they definitely should, um, because the meta is kind of stale. Uh, they can shit on Hunter. I mean, I'm ready to abandon boat. The deck's kind of boring. Uh, it's the same shit over and over again. But so there's a reason why decks are tier one because they're bullshit. Okay. Uh, I can run an example of each class, but I'm certain that this is sufficient to make a point. No, it's not. Apart from standard arena is super boring nowadays because it's just playing minions over and again. You just trade and hit face with the remaining ones. And I never complained about RNG arena before as it was one of the most important parameter that made Arena somehow exciting and frustrating, which makes me, makes the moves unpredictable and punishable. You could go with many spells in your deck and get reward. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you talking about the deck's impact on Arena here? If so, I have no comment on this because I refuse to play Arena because it is bullshit. It's 150 gold to get shit on by fucking no life who use net deck trackers. That stupid uh, Elise Trailblazer add-on in Hearthstone. Lastly, someone will surely claim that Rakuten Rumble will be valuable with the introduction of new cards and mechanics, but what is the point of playing new expansion then? We can just wait six months and they can release two more expansions at once. I'm sure Team 5 is at least capable of doing that, unless we give right negative feedback. Oh, fuck you. This is just terrible. Thank you. It's just more fucking ranting. It's all that this is. It's all that this fucking community does. This place fucking hard, so I'm sick and tired of listening to these little whiny bitches. It is. It's, um... It's whiny. That's what people do. It's what's fun. It's what's cool. It's what's trendy. It's, uh, complain about the meta and how it doesn't make any impact. You... You're going to be saying that until Cobalt's, and then you're going to be saying that until Cobalt's and Frozen Throne rotates out. Rexar. You know? Rexar. Ooh, someone's trying to make it into rank 15. Let's stomp them out, boys. <sighs> you know, you can, uh, you can argue all you want about a Hearthstone. But the fact of it is, it's no one cares. In hindsight, no one really gives two shits about your opinion. If the meta works, and the meta works. If you, um, if you've been, so here's the thing. Especially for free, free to play players, I'm going to put on the same level as players who are brand new to this game. Because free to play players don't have a lot of access to cards. Yeah, you need some money to get the cards. I won't let it. Buy the pre-orders. Buy the pre-orders. If you are as pat, if you love Hearthstone, buy the pre-orders 
if you get pissed off because meta changes happen once in a blue moon, um, don't don't buy the pre-order packs. Only pre-order expansions if you love this game. That's my advice to you. Only buy expansions if you love this game, and I love this game. But my heart's content here, so. But if you really, what was I even talking about? You know, yeah, it's kind of sad that I have to say, you know, wait until the next rotation in order to enjoy this game. But it's, um, you need cards to get good at this game. I, I've put in money into this game and, uh, I've gotten better with the years because not only is it an experience, but when you are, when you're a free to play player, you are limited to not only your deck building abilities, but to what you're going to see. Because with free to play, your MMR is going to be significantly lower. Because you are free to play. How does that make any sense? Um, free to play players, there's a few of them that are mildly successful, but you usually have lower win rates, win lower win rates than casual people. Um, and so you have lower win win rates. Fucking English dinner, daddy. Come on. Uh, you have lower win weights, win rates than people who actually play this game because the decks suck. Free-to-play players and budget decks don't work in this game because they're budget. Because legendaries are broken, epics are broken because they're epics and legendaries. So when you don't have those cards in your deck, you're obviously going to lose a lot more. It's a good play on the flanking strike on the Zillax. And especially for people who are just, uh, well, this is actually an interesting little, what do I do here? Tracking? Track. Oh, nice, duh, huh? It's carnivorous cubit. Protect Shaw, you know. So, I mean, his his argument was, it was valid enough, but if you ever, like, leave this game because you can't stand the meta, stop playing Arstone. Don't take it out in the community. Interesting. I think I'm dead here. Uh, don't play hard if, if you if you need to leave the meta because king's bane's pissing you off get out of here okay if you are angered and frustrated by decks that don't see too much play get out of here hearthstone is a card game that's meant to be have to have fun and if you need to take a break from the game go right on ahead i don't advise it um but if you get pissed off enough at one deck archetype that you leave and then come back because it gets destroyed you're not playing this game because you're having fun you're playing this to make a statement of some sort I've never left Hearthstone. I've been playing it nonstop since the fucking day that it's come out. So I'm going to trigger this trap. It's going to be something lame. There we go. Look at all those Hell Master Shaws. Fucking beautiful. Hey, what's up, Dieter? How's it going, man? Having fun? How's your Christmas break going? Or should I say Derek? <laughs> How's it going, Derek? <laughs> Oh boy. Welcome to the fun. Welcome to the fun. 
Waiting for this hunter guy to finish this up here. After this, I gotta go. Ah, okay. So he's gonna go in for this play. And try to pull something out of his ass here. I think. Fresh meat, 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 fresh meat. Let's go yeet on my meat. Got a slob on my knob. Coming on the cob. But you gotta hit that rank. Fucking tier one. Gotta hit that legendary deck with the Dex Rex. I can't rap. Death Stalker, Rexar. Gotta hit him up with a Terra Scale Stalker. Get that Devil Sore on the floor. Gotta go hum. Hit it up. Gonna beat your bitch up like the whore that she is. Gotta go. Gotta win. Gotta hit it. I don't know. Something like that. Oh boy. Soul Jin. You didn't play any explosive traps this game. Wow. That's a good one. Thanks. Nothing. It was just uh, sniping some other bullshit. I, I, I can, I can bust through this. This isn't hard. I'm gonna MC tech something. Come on. It's a winter veil. All right, we're still stuck at rank fifteen, everyone. All right, guys, it's been Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here playing some Hearthstone Uncut, talking about meta and all that fun shit, but you guys know the drill. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.